my son is, um, he's very, he's very active. And um, he said, Mom, it's great that you're so excited now, but will you still be excited three months from now or six months from now? For me, it's about to share and to learn because I probably have my own biases that I'm not aware of. These men and women are part of the Greensboro Public Library's 21-day Racial Equity and Social Justice Challenge Learning Circle. With the times as they are, we got a lot of requests for programming related to racial equity and social justice. So adult programming coordinator Beth Sheffield and her team started this challenge. The first one was last month. There are no subject experts with our project. We are all learning together. We have a Google spreadsheet that has different links to different videos and articles and we just ask that people spend 20 minutes a day focused on social justice and racial equity. The goal is to help people discover how racial inequity and social injustice impact our community and to help identify ways to dismantle racism and other forms of discrimination. I like when we come together because there's a lot of fractions and a lot of different groups but when we come together it's hard work and it's painful work, but it's necessary. They focus on several areas like education, criminal justice, and public health. Well, in the justice system, when we unpack that, I was heard. And I think it's real important that we hear each other because uh, some of my background is clinical, so I know how much pain all of us are in, not just black people. Sage Chioma moved here from New York. When I came here, it was because NYPD has started knocking on my door to ask questions about my son. And he wasn't in trouble. They just was, I guess, doing what they call good police work. I don't know. And I felt like he was being targeted. Sage and Beth shared some of those tough moments with me. And when people talk about the first time they got scolded for just waving at a black child and then realizing you're not supposed to do that. The moments of vulnerability uh, within the group and people willing to share personal stories uh, within the group of incidences of driving while black, going to a neighborhood store and being followed because you were in a, of a certain color. So these frank conversations were painful, it was hard, but it was worth it. More than 20 people have signed up for the second challenge that just started. It's 2020. Right. Uh, let's have something good come out of 2020, right. something that brings us together. I have biracial grandchildren, you know, and I'm concerned about them, you know, too. So that is one reason I'm trying to keep the dialogue open. So the empathy that comes out of us hearing one another's story, the compassion, it's hard to like, hate somebody once you know them. What are the small things that we can do that are in our power to do? You know, that's what's so important. It's like one person at a time, one uh, article at a time, one, you know, one action at a time. And one story at a time. Um, in black and white, Tracy Clements, Fox 8 News.